Recently, I bought a treadmill to put under my sit-stand desk because sitting as an editor or working on a computer for a prolonged period is not a very good thing to do. Your legs tighten up and overall, it's just not very good for your health. So I ended up buying one, but it wasn't that convenient. I wasn't motivated to use it, so I ended up returning it. And after a bit of research, I bought a different one. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the new smart treadmill that I bought. It's a little more expensive, but it's so much better. And also, Trust me, you're not gonna get any work done running at the highest speed, the six kilometers an hour. I tried, you can't click anything. As you probably know, sitting for prolonged periods is really, really bad for your health. So that's why I decided to buy a sit-stand desk a few years ago. And while it was really good that I was interrupting the sitting to stand for a few minutes every single day, I wasn't really moving still. I can't really consider that to be exercise. When you don't use your muscles often, they will weaken. Over time, you'll lose flexibility, strength, stamina, and there's a lot of data to suggest and back up that over time, by not exercising and getting that movement in, it will be bad for your health. That's when I started to think about if a product exists that was convenient enough to use under a sit-stand desk. So I started to do some research and I did find one and after trying it for a day, I didn't really like it. So I ended up packaging it back up and I returned it. So I almost gave up on the idea of a treadmill to be used under a sit-stand desk until I did a little bit more research and came across uh, something called the walking pad, which is known as a smart treadmill. It hasn't been out for very long and it had pretty good reviews. So as mentioned, this new one is called the walking pad and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to get the exact one that I am using. With the first one that I got, because it was so long and I couldn't fold it in half, I had to literally pick it up and move it out of the way every single time that I was finished with it. With this new one, since it folds in half, I can keep it under the desk, have the button be pressed so the sit-stand desk can go all the way down and then I can bring the chair back. And besides that, I normally use a leg cushion under the desk when I'm sitting to keep my legs elevated a bit. But with this new folding treadmill, I can actually just put my legs on the treadmill because it raises my feet off the ground about four to five inches. And just to reiterate how amazing it is that this new treadmill folds, it is the only one on the market, or at least the only one that I could find that exists, where you have a slim treadmill that can fold in half. To me, that's a big enough difference of using it versus not using it. If I didn't find this folding one, I likely would have just returned the other one and never bought a new one. To put that into perspective, it takes about 20 seconds to unfold it and set it up. That's about the same time as it takes my sit-stand desk to go from the sitting to the standing position. So by the time the desk has gotten to the top part, I can have the treadmill set up and it's ready to go. The treadmill also has some other features that make it the smart treadmill. And those features are the ability to download an app and then customize the settings. For example, you can keep it in manual mode or you can change it to automatic mode. If you do keep it to manual mode in the settings you can change it so when you stand on the front of the treadmill it'll automatically turn on and when you get off the treadmill it'll automatically turn off and with the manual mode it'll stick to one speed and then you can change it in the app to a different speed if you'd like or you can set up the treadmill to be in automatic mode and that mode will be reactive to how you move so that's a pretty cool feature. I've tried the automatic mode a few times, but I sort of default back to the manual mode because I like that it sticks to one speed. And I also like that it does have the ability uh, in the settings, as I mentioned, that when you stand on the front of the treadmill, it starts going. And then when you get off the treadmill, it stops. The treadmill has speeds between two kilometers an hour and six kilometers an hour. And you can also change it to miles per hour if uh, you prefer that uh, measurement of speed. That's all done through the app. And I would say that two kilometers an hour is a pretty standard walking speed and six kilometers an hour is like a good jogging speed. So I think they have done a pretty good job of giving you a good starting point, but also something that you can work into if you wanna go a little faster. In comparison to the first treadmill that I bought, this new one is at least a full inch closer to the ground than the last one I had. That being said, it does come at a cost. I think it was like 700 Canadian, so probably like 500 or so uh, US, maybe 600. So it is expensive, but I look at it as an investment into my future health. 
the more exercise that I can get now and in the, the short term, the more healthier I will be in the long term. I will say when I first was downloading the app, I noticed that it has a really low rating in the uh, Apple App Store. And after using it, I actually didn't have any issues with it. So I think they updated it. So I wouldn't be too alarmed if you do find out that the App Store does have a low rating for this app. There's two things that I don't like about this treadmill, but they're not really deal breakers, so they're just subtle things. The first being, I wish it had a slower starting speed. Two kilometers an hour is, I think, about your average walking speed or maybe slightly slower. So that's fine, but I wish it was like 1.5 or one kilometers an hour. And the second thing that I wish was better is when you're done using it and you fold it into its uh, folded position and you push it under the desk, sometimes it will trigger the on button and then it'll start the countdown, three, two, one, which will then make the belt start to rotate. Now, when it started to happen to me, I quickly just reached under and pressed the button in the back to turn it off so it wouldn't actually turn on because I'm not sure what would happen and I don't want to test that but I wish there was some sort of sensor that would prevent that from happening. I would recommend this treadmill to anyone who sits and works at their desk daily, especially if you already own a sit-stand desk because then you just buy it and it's ready to go. That being said, if you don't have a sit-stand desk, I would recommend that even more than the treadmill itself because it will start your habit in interrupting how long you sit, which is the most difficult part and the most dangerous part for uh, your long-term health. And since other treadmills don't fold, this is the only one that can really be used efficiently and conveniently with a sit-stand desk because you can just move your chair out of the way, unfold it, you're good to go. If you don't care about the working aspect and you just want something that's very portable and something that's very convenient, this is still one that I would highly recommend getting. So in the description, I will leave the links of both the sit-stand desk that we use and also the smart treadmill that is so much better than uh, the first one that I bought. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from us in the future. We have over 200 videography related how-to and tutorial videos on our channel, so lots for you to learn from. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.